This is Mike from 0.5 Productions, and this video is finally here. It's finally live. I've never done a video like this before, so bear with me. I've gotten a lot of questions over the last few weeks, almost months now, on how I've created the content on the 0.5 Productions page. And so I'm happy to finally get to this. So let's hop right into it. The first step is I go over to ChatGPT, and then I'll say, create 20 images. And let's say for this topic, we're gonna do Indiana Jones, a space between the V and the six. So this is what you need to have at the end of every image. And I've tested this, I've watched some other people talk about how they do it, and I've experimented with it to really come up with this seems to be the most consistent when it comes to creating the images. So once I have this done, I'll press enter. We'll see if it actually does it for us. There you go. So you have to really tweak this and really uh, kind of find loopholes, unfortunately, to get around some of the copyright issues when it comes to these things. And so even now right here, you'll see there's two bullet points. What I would do is I'd go back in and be like, this is how it should be formatted. And then I'll tell ChatGPT, don't give me bullet points. I want it all in a, in a list format. And I'll show you why in a second. So it's gonna generate this list for us and then take that. So I'll show you example, an example of how that's gonna look. I'm gonna take this piece and this is where we generate the shot list. I'm gonna go into um, Discord, hashtag backslash, hashtag backslash imagine. Go back here, copy this. And like I said, this will all be one thing if I, when I, once I reformat it like this. And I use a private server on Midjourney. You have to pay for this uh, in, in the sense that you can, I believe you can do it for free, but if you really want the unlimited generations, you need to pay for the program. Hit enter. Now this is gonna boot up and it's gonna take a little bit of time to generate. So then I'll go to Project Chat GPT, and I usually do this in a separate chat, but I'll go, I want you to write a voice <clears throat> over narration for a 1950s trailer of Indiana Jones. Limit it to 150 words and display it as one paragraph, no camera, shots, angles, etc. just text. And that's that's literally it. Then we could do what you could do is at the end add coming to a theater near you. Okay, cool. So I'll copy this. Control Command C or Control C. I'll go into Eleven Labs and I'll paste it right in here. Oops, missed the eye there. I'll press generate speech. In a world teetering on the brink of chaos. And that's it. And this is pretty quick. So the music and the voice is almost instantaneous. Now it's done. I'll download this. And so once you put the prompt in, it'll generate four images for you here. And as you can see, pretty freaking amazing. Uh, the, it, I'm not sure how Midjourney sources it, but it knows the character I'm going for and it knows that Harrison Ford plays him. So I don't have to do too much prompting here. What I'll do is I'll take one of these images, I'll press this button right here, if this is the one I decide to use. I'll save this. And then what I'll do is I'll go, once I have a whole bunch of images selected that I like after putting all the prompts in, I'll then go into Runway ML. Now here, there's a whole lot of buttons and stuff, but all we really need to focus on is text to image to video. I'm going to upload a file, upload this picture of Indiana Jones. And the reason why in my early videos there was so much, so much morphing was that I was just pressing generate. But we, what we really wanna do is in this text prompt thing, I actually like to add, I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes, but I, I like to add exactly the same from our, our initial prompt. Okay, and then I'll go to camera settings. And this is where you can really mess around with this. These are all camera movements in the image. So 
I typically, for the most part, I, I just kind of go with my gut on this and mess around. So for this, what I'd probably do is move horizontally to the left a bit, and I'd zoom in. And with this program, you can actually go to Motion Brush, and you can select things in the frame. Like if there was water coming down, we can make the water move. We can add some ambiance here. So what I could do is I could select these plants. In the background, a little foliage. I usually don't mess with this too much, but we definitely can here just for the sake of an example. And then I'll go to ambient noise and I'll just bump this up a little bit. We can do maybe horizontal this way. So you have the horizontal X axis moving left to the right, vertical Y up and down. Ambient, typically for water, this will make the water move a little bit. And you can make things come closer or further away. And then once I, I'm set with where I'm, I'm going, and you can mess around with this all you want. You can make the, the area you detect smaller or bigger. You can take as much time with this as you want. Once that's good and ready, like where I like it, I'll hit generate. This is where I create all my music. I'll go to create. These are all past songs I've made. So now I've gotten in the habit of creating AI music and I actually got this from, shout out to Dog People Productions for doing this because while I was familiar with this tool and I was using it, I wasn't using it in this way. And so now what I'll do, 1950s movie trailer, adventure, you just put in some keywords, old recording, create. Oh, so we'll do instrumental. Hit create. And the reason this is such a cool tool is one, it's fast, but also because then you won't get your content flagged by YouTube for copyright infringement. So this is definitely more old, oldie, which is probably what I would go for. And once it loads the whole song, which are typically around a minute, I'll download this, put it in my audio folder, and then I'll upload all these assets once they're all done to Premiere and start editing. So I'm gonna skip ahead to that part now. Once we have the images generated, you'll see them here in Runway. This is what we're looking at. Just the face on this character, it's pretty incredible how realistic that is and how much life the program brings to the image. One thing to keep in mind with these programs is in order to generate a decent amount of these, you really need the unlimited version. And for this particular program, Runway, it's almost $100 a month for the unlimited. So it's quite pricey. I may be switching over soon just to mitigate costs, but that's really uh, what we do here. Now, once I have these downloaded, I'll go into Premiere Pro. So you can really use any editing software of your choosing. However, I just use Premiere Pro, it's what I have. And so what I'll do is I'll create a new sequence I'll create two folders for video and audio. Import all my video here. Okay, so once I have all my footage, audio, video imported there, then I'll just throw, throw it on the timeline. And the way that I do it, I'm actually gonna go do a couple things, go back to one of my past sequences. I'm gonna take my logo, that on top here. I'm also gonna take this film grain overlay, and this is what gives us the scratchy look. I'll take my voiceover, throw that here on the audio track and then I'll take the song put it here I'm gonna cut it at the end of the voiceover I usually do minus 10 decibels on the audio I'm just get a taste of that here we go in a world teetering on the brink of chaos one man stands as the last line of defense against ancient evils and ruthless villains Okay, and then once we do that, it's really just a matter of going through the voiceover and matching the image, the video, to the voiceover. So I'll throw those all together and I'll show you what we come up with. And the final touch is to use ChatGPT, go back here, to create a poster. So I'll go to ChatGPT, there's actually a prompt, mid-journey prompt generator GPT you can use. And you can go in there and say, hey, I want a 1950s film poster for Indiana Jones. And be sure to mention the three, four aspect ratio if that's the one you want. And then it will give you the prompt right here. 
and all you have to do is oops <laughs> all you have to do is not make the disappear but press copy paste it into discord and then find an image you like so i click the fourth one uh, mid journey does have some issues with text but it's good enough so i picked that one saved it imported it back into premiere and then as you can see here Picture collide coming to a theater near you i said the out in a world Oops. teetering on the brink <laughs> of chaos i said the out points i'll um render this into out and then i'll export it and i upload it to youtube and there's a separate process for the whole youtube upload uh, workflow and i like to use keywords especially to stand out uh, there's the thumbnails there's a, a lot more that goes into it and so while we don't generate the images from scratch with ai there is a very human component towards compiling all this together editing uh, doing all the different sequences in a world steps. teetering yeah that's one thing people don't realize is actually how much time goes into creating one video i mean i've sat here now for a few hours just on this one video and i don't personally do any color correction in the videos i put it together as you see it is how it comes but you can definitely add something to do that uh, to to add a little more more flavor to it and then i like i said i upload this and i'm done so if you found any value in this video give it a likes up let me know in the comments if there's anything else i didn't cover or that you want to learn more about and if you feel called to it please subscribe and join the pt5 newsletter um, i haven't launched the newsletter yet but i'm going to be launching the newsletter very soon and i have a lot of fun stuff in there to give you a, a, a glimpse behind the curtain so to speak and so i hope you find value in that too and i'll catch you in the next video thanks bye